I've been in Pittsburgh for 20, about 20 years. Um, I'm from Jamaica, but I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and I've been in the United States since um, I was seven years old. And um, as I was growing up and as I got in my 20s, and you start like, yes, I'm in America, I'm an, I'm an immigrant, and I want to be a part of what it means to be an, an immigrant. So when I received the opportunity to run this business, this restaurant, I thought how wonderful this is. My husband, three children, and you're not exceptionally savvy. I'm the first to graduate high school in my immediate family, the first to graduate college in my immediate family. And it felt like a, a good accomplishment, but again, you don't know a whole lot. So you're learning as you go. And as you're learning, you're growing, you're trying to dream and, and grow. And to see that someone who is in a position, financial position, to be able to aid you to get to certain levels in life, to bring your family, bring the community, really wants to put their foot on your neck. Um, the restaurant, I call it a United Nation. We had African Americans who supported us. We have Caucasian, we had Indians, everyone. And I loved it because everyone came as soon as they came in. We never knew them from a can of beans, but instantaneously, we were like family. And my customers were so awesome. We had a flood in 2015 in March. That flood devastated the whole of downstairs where there was no bathroom at all. How embarrassing it is for customers to come in. Oh, you know, you can sit and eat, but there's no bathroom for you to use. He's not fixing the bathroom. Almost a year, there is no bathroom for my customers to use at, at, at all but he wants 100% of the rent, and then he wants to raise the rent by $500 more. Then he's writing me some kind of memorandum that, oh, well, I'm gonna raise the rent to 2,000 or so dollars or whatever. Can you handle that? What about the bathroom? You have not installed the bathroom. My customers, I had a customer, she's from um, Italy. Her family's from Italy. Mom, dad, everyone is coming down. Cecilia, you wanna make a reservation? I said, Bea, we have no bathroom for you guys to use. They came anyway sat there for three, four hours, no bathroom. I felt this small. Another set of customers, we don't know them. They came like eight to 12 of them sat. They got up, went two blocks to Capri to use the bathroom, came back, had their meeting, came back, got up, went to Capri again to use the bathroom. How embarrassing that is. How loyal it is, because I don't know these people. And I tell you, I kid you not, how should I say this? I'm a lover of people that even though we were there to serve food, it was more than food, it was love. We were just so happy to see where we could have gone as a family, as a business. This man crushed our dreams so badly. I felt when people were telling me, I want to get out of Pittsburgh, I don't like Pittsburgh, I'm like wondering why. I'm gonna, I couldn't understand it. And just from being in that place of business, I understand why some people wanted to get away from Pittsburgh. A lot of them got away for many years, and some came back, and you wonder why they came back? A sense of family. This is where they were, they were born, and they want to see something happen in this location. Now, it devastated us. At first, I told my husband, I said, oh, everything is going to be all right. But financially, it is devastating right now to have car payments coming in. You can't pay this. This is coming to camp. Everything is devastating, and this man has so much money. Here it is, he had some workers, because he had to contract people. He had some workers come in. It's a group of white guys and stuff like that. And I tell you, they tell me everything. They say, you know what? He told us to do this and this to you guys, and we told him, no, we're not gonna do that to you. He didn't specifically say what, but I knew it was no good. And he said, they, they said to him, no, we're not gonna do that to them. They don't deserve that. Now, you put a camera in on the back of the window, in my backyard where my kitchen goes, but you can't fix my bathroom? I tell you, I told him, I said, with you, I said, I've gotten a glimpse of racism, what it means to be a slave, to be enslaved. However, that one man will not change my love for humanity. A lot of things that are happening in Pittsburgh is not necessary. It's greed. And if you really notice and you look, there really is no viability going on right now if you look at it. It seems so dead, the land of the dead. Nothing is happening. You're stuck. I'm, I'm for change. And I'm for people growing together. 
not a part. I want to see Asian restaurants, I want to see Indian restaurants, culture. How could you know that there's not a Jamaican restaurant close anywhere and you still wanted to get rid of us? This man didn't want to give us a, a lease for the longest time. No lease. And I think all his tenants did not have a lease. There's water dripping. The, the one um, store next to mine, there was water dripping down all the time. You'd think you were on the, in the Titanic. I don't know how they did it. They were cutting here and water's coming down. They have buckets, water's coming down, and still they had to pay 100% of the rent. This has to stop. And I kid you not, the people who have been impacted, like myself, and the people who are doing it, they're not going to prosper. It doesn't matter how much money you have. When your heart is black and dark like that, you will not prosper. And I still believe in Pittsburgh. I want to stay here in Pittsburgh with my family. I want to see Pittsburgh grow. I want to see us become a diverse community because we can do it. So what I'm saying is I just want to ask everyone just to pray for me and my family because right now financially it is very devastating. You know, everything is looking so bleak. But that's just how it looks. I'm still hopeful. I wish this man did not do this to our family. And I pray that this doesn't happen to anyone else. But it may happen because that's what they're about. They're a bunch of vultures. But I'm going to be on my knees. I'm going to be praying for the city of Pittsburgh and for our family, for us to come together as one and to do what we need to do to be able to make this city the best city that it really possibly can be because it can be that city. And for everyone who's still here, sitting here, that you don't even have to still be here, there's a reason why you're here. You're listening, and you want to be a part of the change. Let's work together, please. We can do it. God bless you all. Have a nice all day. All right. Cecilia Price Knight.